Joe Zekas from Yo Chicago and Homeward Bound North. I'm with Julie McWilliams this afternoon. We're in Glenview. Uh, orient me a little bit, Julie. Tell me where we are. And while I admire this porch and this beautiful tree-lined street here, great location. It is a wonderful location. We are two blocks from the train and there are shops and restaurants and all kinds of services on Glenview Road and over on Harlem and on Waukegan. So if you need a hot cup of coffee or if you need an ice cream sundae, you can walk to wherever you need to go. And to what's things. that great ice cream shop over by the train stop there? There's the the soft serve place is the dairy bar. The dairy bar. And then there's an Oberweiss dairy over on Waukegan. Yep. And Caribou Coffee over on Waukegan. And the Caribou is just uh, just around the corner here. Just about, yes. So I mean, one of the one of the appeals uh, to me because I'm a reluctant suburbanite and I like urban kind of environments. And this is uh, like a walkable city neighborhood around here. Yes, and you feel the breezes on the porch. It's just very quiet. This street is one block long um, and it doesn't get through traffic, but we are close to Waukegan Road. So if you need to go north or go south, you can just hop right on and get wherever you need to go. And if you spend a lot of time at O'Hare, you're uh, closer to O'Hare on a commute than you are if you're further east in uh, in one of the more traditional oh, North yes. Shore communities. It's about 15 or 20 minutes to O'Hare, depending on the time of day you're leaving. In my mind, this is just about a perfect porch. Well, I love porches, and uh, it's just a very It's close nice to the sidewalk, so you can uh, chat, chat up your neighbors as they roll by. Tell me a little bit about the house that we're going to look at. Well, the house was, according to the tax records, was built in 1909. However, we learned that the house was moved to this location in the 40s. Really? It had originally been over on Glenview Road, and, uh, you know, a farmhouse on Glenview Road was a farmhouse <laughs> on Glenview Road. And um, I guess for progress, uh, for building a bank, they wanted the property over there for the bank, so uh, someone moved this house to this location. Because the house had enough character and charm oh, to yes. want to preserve. And the wonderful thing about that is the fact that the basement is not the typical 100-year-old basement with brick walls and short ceilings. It's a concrete basement with high ceilings. So. Mm -hmm. I remember when I first came to this house and went to the basement, I thought, something isn't, it's a disconnect because okay. <laughs> the basement wasn't what I expected it to be. And so it's wonderful. <laughs> Got a fabulous old weeping willow tree here. Yes, it provides lots of shade and swaying and relaxing. And it's beautiful. It is. And the garden's beautiful, and the yard is huge for this part of town, I think, isn't it? Yes, there are a few others, but I don't think the houses are this special. And the garage is a three-car, which is uh, also pretty unusual. Yes. And with the full attic, it's more like a barn <laughs> to go with the farmhouse. The tree on the other side of the fence is a flowering crab tree, so it is beautiful with white blossoms in the spring. Yeah, there's a nice patio back here, and again, we have the, the sense of quiet. Brick pavers. These owners did the brick paver patio and this meandering sidewalk. Again, a relaxing curved sidewalk. They put in the privacy fence, so it just sort of like a secret garden. Can you negotiate for the hammock or? Oh, maybe. <laughs> full, full price offer might get the hammock with it. Maybe. A lovely backyard. The trellis has uh, climbing roses on it. They, they bloomed in June. I think people uh, Looking uh, for the newer ranch homes, they're going to be typically be on smaller lots in Glenview, aren't they? Yes, and and smaller rooms. You won't find 
as big a master bedroom, you won't find the extra attic room, although they may have a family room, but um, they won't have a formal dining room. Nope. And they won't have as big a kitchen normally. They, they typically tend to be all shaped living dining rooms. Right? Yeah, yes, or a very small dining room that's separate. It's just a great environment back here. It is. We've just been kind of hanging out here and talking, Julie, because it's really a pretty yard. It is beautiful. Um, Got some vegetable gardening, it looks like, going on back here. Yes, this is, this is mint. And there's the garden gnome. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we have peppers, eggplant, pepper, tomatoes, chives. And plenty of space to plant your own garden if you want to even go more extensive than that. Oh, yes. 